it. Let me make sure the title is updated. Okay, and update information. So yeah, we went through this pipe and now we have to fight a Freezy, which is the Ice Climbers. And they start out with the Freezy. And we're also on Mario Bros, so that's not actually that bad. Ready, oh wait. I guess it never specified which version of Mario Bros it was going to be on. These are supposed to be your freezies, not my freezies. They can frame perfect get out of them though. Or I think that's frame perfect. If not, it's pretty close. And I think you do have to master get out of freezies at high percents and low percents. There we go. Just need to keep hitting them with the freezies. Four tipper. Four air does also work. Me by learning during the battle. They watch and then they'll copy the abilities if they see you do something successful. Gengar. Hmm. I'd be good against DK. I know Marth would, but I kinda don't want to play Marth. Guess I'll just be random. Okay, it's plant. I mean, I guess plant's pretty heavy, so I'm not going to get knocked around that much. And the poison still works, because Donkey Kong doesn't have a reflector. Oh man, I'm going to Z-drop that. If he hits me with the Donkey Kong punch thing, then I'm pretty much gonna die. Ooh, back shield. Victory! And I actually landed the spike for once as well. Everything went well there. So what are my options here? I got Min Min on one side, who seems pretty dangerous. Yeah, we're going with Min Min. Um, increased attack power and badly damage. Increased move speed. Um, I'd say this is a Mars job. Because increased move speed's definitely not a plant job. And does it increase damage as well? Increase attack power and badly damage, and they favor special moves. Oh, I thought this was battlefield form. Yeah, this is much worse. But yeah, they just prefer specials. They don't actually know which specials to use. 
in what situation. They just use a random one. to land this tipper. Okay. I actually managed to do it. So maybe this is Lucida and I could actually use Lucida in World of White. Nope, it's just Lucas. Oh wait. Um, gotta go turn off the music then for Lucas. I'm gonna say he's earthbound, so earthbound mother, or I mean mother, they're kind of similar. Just two games in a series. Okay, and now we can go unlock Lucas. But I'm trying to avoid all the four star spirits that are possible to avoid in this room. Let me see if I can get this Lucas here. That's why I went for Min Min over Ashley. And Ashley is supposed to be really hard. He plays like a true Lucas. But yeah, Lucas is actually going to be really good to have for edge guarding with um, PK Freeze. PK Thunder is not that bad of an edge guard, but it's not as good as PK Freeze. And also having the skill spheres isn't that bad either. And now let me go back and turn back on the music. Options. Sound. Oh wait, not 170. We actually need to go back to Adventure and not hit the B button. You can also reflect projectiles with the shovel. I didn't know that. Who's this spirit over here? Rover? Okay. Not gonna mess with the rover. Um, who's here? Fox named Russ. Um, who's actually good against Fox? I mean, Fox is pretty decent, so I guess I'll use him. They take less damage while in the air and they love to jump. Fox is really fast. Now we're pretty much the same person except I do more damage. Why did I just explode? You can have two rocket belts at once? That's a dangerous game you're playing there, Fox. You stand underneath the bridge whenever it closes, you instantly die. But if you go back on stage, you instantly die as well. well it's kind of just whatever you want to do. Yep, we're not doing that.
I know too much about that, so, um, Isabel, I'm gonna want someone with range, actually. For Isabel and Villager, um. Mars not that bad of a pick. Plus me outranging them, sure it allow me to get tippers. Do you just have to defeat the main fighter to win, or do you have to defeat both of these ones? I already forgot. Oh no. Yeah, that's a combo there, and now I'm at high percent. Oh, it's because it's an attack spirit. That makes sense. I should have teched at least one of those. Okay, got the banana. Okay, Isabel. Actually, edge guarding for once is a very cool thing to do. It's usually the spirit battles they don't edge guard. You know, the more walls that this place has, the better. It's just more spots for me to tech, you know? What, you can hit that when it's thrown? I knew you could jump on it, but I didn't know you could just hit it like that. I was actually trying to hit that. Don't even need to be able to see you to get a tip or F-Smash on you. Or grab a gun, but now Villager has a gun. Oh, he pocketed it, so we're good. And the Void Rocket Spam is fun. back down here. Where was he? I can't actually- oh he was up there? How did he go over there? I mean I know villagers are nimble character, sure, but he's not that fast. Yeah, I can actually see the smoke now, so I have a good idea of where they're going to be. Tipper S Master will kill, though. And now I'm heading this way. There's a character down there, but I can't go down there. I'll have to stay with Mars for now. Enemy is easily distracted by items. Oh man, it's Galaga. Wait, do I get out of Galaga easier with the spirit boost thing from the skill tree? I hit all of them except for one, and the one that I didn't hit punish my order.
Oh man, that tipper killed really early. At least for spirits. Now my damage increased, so it would make sense, but before then my damage had not increased, so... There we go. Never learned how to read. Also didn't learn how to mash, I guess. Oh yeah, Xerneas is actually broken. Yeah, we're not messing with Viridi. Um, I guess I could do this. Villager and me brawler. And this one you can't defeat the main fighter to win, so... I feel like with me brawler you could use Kirby, but that'd be a problem with Villager. So I guess I'm just going to stay as Marth. I did some damage. I promise I did like a hit. Why is me brawler so broken in spirit? Is that even with spirits? That could be without spirits. He, all he does is just co up to me and down special. I'm pretty sure that's actually his up special. That's all he does is just that. Oh man, I wanted the gun. That's literally his entire moveset. It's just down smash. Or I mean down special. He's done that at least three times in a row. I gotta beat somebody to progress in this smoke forest thing. It's got like some weird poison stuff. I really have no idea what's going on. Why not just pick up the star rod? Why actually hit me and then go pick it up? Man, I wanted the back shield because I need it. Oh, that's his up special right there. That's actually a really bad one. I'm starting to hate this fight more and more. So you would think with the back shield, his um, down special would just get knocked back because it's like you're blocking an attack, right? You would think it would just stop there, but no, it just continues. It doesn't care about the back shield. Why should it? It's just a back shield. That was the biggest brain play I've ever seen from a me, so. Because I took more damage. By the way, I can't move right now. We can have a gunfight. I hit them both. Okay, let's go. See, if critical hit doesn't kill, then I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get critically hit. And now explore the ruins. It's just a bunch of ditties. 
Guess I stay Marth. Because Diddy Kong really can't do much. Ready? Except for a banana infinite, but I doubt they can do the banana infinite. There's so many of them though. Two SD, one survived. I want to try and knock him onto the mine though, for the kill. It's just right next to this piece of pie. Well, never mind, it's gone now. I could just circle camp for final smash and kill with critical hit, but. Victory! Looks like Tipper Dancing Blade final hit will kill. When do I have enough skill points to actually upgrade something? I think I do now. Just have 37, so strong throw. That's interesting, but I don't know. Meteor smashes are pretty good because they lead to stuff like perfect shield reflect and stats after eating up. There's also sprinting endurance and fire and explosion resist, which is going to be really good. Um, also, all the items are going to be really good. And that's also going to be good as well. Um, but I say I go for Meteor Smashes because it's going to lead into a bunch of good stuff. Like Perfect Shield Reflect and um, Perfect Shield Recovery. Shininja and Wiggler. Wiggler should be pretty easy, right? There's just one Yoshi. Isn't it lipstick that whenever you throw it, it always, um, trips? Enemy attack power up. I was about to say, if you really don't die from two tipper F smashes at, like, 60%, then there's not much I can do. What's that right there? Is that where it was before? Oh no, the chorus kids. That's actually a really difficult spirit. Spectre Knight from Shovel Knight. They start the battle with Death Scythe and they are Richter, so you need someone who can approach really fast. I think Kirby's actually the best one to go for this. You can also just get them off the side if it's um. What type of stage is it? Is it just, um, the regular? Even if it's not just the regular version of Bridge of Elodin, is what I was referring to. It should be pretty easy. But they also have increased move speed, so that's kind of a problem. Ready? Go! You can also just do some of this. How did he outspace my backer? 
You know what, we're done playing games. Star Rod spam. Because once I get to like 100% then I die in one shot. There we go. Forward smash into dash attack. I saw that I changed a little bit whenever he tried to F smash me, but I rolled out of the way, so I'm guessing it would have killed. Sis trophy enemy is going to be a kind of a problem. I had to guess. Enemy tends to avoid conflict. Whenever the enemy is at high damage, they will summon the assist trophy. So, um, you want to get someone who can kill them fast. And the enemy tends to avoid conflict, and it's also a timed battle, so it's going to be pretty difficult. Ready? Just from the Go. description. Yeah, you've only got two minutes to do this. So, looks like this is going to be a fun one. Really? Tipper Dancing Blade didn't kill? They somehow both dodge that. Oh no. Well, that's not high percent. What do you mean high damage? No, well, that's not a lot of damage either, though. How many pictures did they take? Three. I needed to place that right there, instead of where I have it placed. Okay, we got 20 seconds. Come on, Marth. So you've got to hit the daisy to be able to kill the daisy. There we go. Tip or F smash at 80% should kill, because it killed Peach at like 70. I feel like every time that I've gotten a tipper in World of Light, it's always been clutch. Lava floor. Luckily, it's a battlefield stage. But Palutena is also here, so that's a problem. Palutena really just needs to drop the Killing Edge. Alright, we'll take the back shield. It just barely doesn't reach. I gotta keep the killing edge off of me. There we go. 
Got one out of the way. Oh, you decided to defeat the main fighter? See, Lucina's really easy to kill. All I have to do is just slightly edge guard Lucina. If they use their jump, then they're dead. Venusaur. Enemy is giant and the floor is poisonous. Luckily there's only one enemy here, so it shouldn't be that bad. As long as they don't go for up smash, then we should be safe. Up smash and up air. And they're using dare as well, so that's kind of a problem. I just need to get a tipper on one of these. I can hit him through the siege. Yep. The floor is poisonous, yet the mine didn't explode. Hmm. There it goes. That down arrow would have killed. And so with that, pretty much everything's gonna kill me now. Because I'm fighting on the ground. Why did I go on the ground? I guess because I wanted to get the fight over with, but it was a really dumb idea. I mean, I guess it's not really that dumb as long as you overwhelm Ivysaur, because there's not much Ready? they can do once overwhelmed. I would prefer to fight on the top platforms, but if you just want to fight on the bottom on Ivysaur, I'm fine with that as well. How did you... How did he grab that ledge? Or did he just... Or is he just giant so I got confused? That could be the problem. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Yeah, this is definitely a bad position. There we go. Say so getting hit by the fire flower and poison floor at the same time is not the best position. Green one's done. What's this one? Money mole? Doesn't seem like it should be that much of a problem. Ready? Go! Single star Donkey Kong boss fight with no fruit. What? Where did my pitfall go? I um, mean, I didn't F smash or anything there. And I should have. Come on, I just wanted to grab the pitfall, my guy. Got the ledge, get up. What's up here? Top Man from Mega Man. Gotta fight four Mega Men. Their dash attacks have increased power and we're on a battlefield stage. So that means I gotta counter. Close booter, 407. Or I guess just Spooter. Ready, go. Yeah, I missed that counter there. So then I get punished. Fight. 
Well, I gotta counter, Morris. You actually have to counter. I'm doing pretty good. That was actually really smart of that one Mega Man. There we go. If you can't see while one was attacking, the other one went and blocked. I got one. Oh man. Dash attack in two. Up smash. Thought I could get that. I need like Peach or Daisy because they have a really good counter. Morris counter is not that good. Ready, go. Yeah, I, I gotta stop rolling. How did that dash attack not hit? But yeah, every time that I get back on the stage and then roll, I get hit by 7 dash attacks. So then I'm just at 10%. But I can't really get back to stage without rolling. It's my problem. And if I don't punish with a reflect, I mean not a reflect, but with a parry, then I instantly get stuck in shield from shield stun after them doing the move. I guess if I could be Mega Man, I could just neutral be spam, maybe. I feel like this is the best strategy, it's just a counter. Cause I killed one earlier by just countering. But my counter seems to have gained more lag. There's literally like nothing I can do if one just sits there and waits for the other three hit me. Ready, go. If I don't hit them all at once like I did there, then I just get hit. And if I don't grab ledger, I also get hit. There we go. Victory. I'm surprised I killed all three of them. And then all I had to do was just pummel the fourth one. Yeah, this is definitely a Marth fight. Wait, are we on? Yep, come on. Come on, Mac. Commendable effort. But invalid. That hit me. I got killed for doing Dancing Blade. Because he, like, one-shot me. He hit me once and I was at 1%. Just had to get on the other slide.
when the spirits are harder than Galio. Soccer ball. Um, and 11 villagers. Okay. Oh, they're tiny villagers. So that's not that bad. Their kicks and knee strikes have increased power, yet none of them use their kicks or their knees. But they have increased power. They also die at like 10. Him just standing there was shorter than my dash. I mean, not my dash, but my jab. I didn't mean to call from the mic, but I did. I tried to mute it. But I couldn't play and mute at the same time. I was just trying to grab the villager and pummel him, but now I'm just going to kill him. Tipper F smash does get that job done. Hmm, this is just snake. He has increased defense and increased attack power after a little while. It's just snake though. And as far as I can tell, this looks like it's hazardless. Um, Shadow Moses so should be good. Well, I'm glad that the lead that I had there was there for a while. I knew it was coming. See, all he literally has to do is just F tilt and I die. Because it sends you upwards so you can't just tech off of the walls. That's why I need to get snake, although to get snake I have to do the impossible, so. Oh wait, this is hazard on, so I can just do this. I did it too early. On, just come over here, Snake. How did he hit me through the shield? I hate when people hit me through my shields. It just doesn't really make that much sense to me. Don't mind me, Snake. Just destroying this wall. There you go, Snake. You got it. There we go. Was it that bad? That's a really evil spirit, even with spirits on. 
So all it does is just send you into the top of the blast zone. This stage, so we'd have to be at the bottom for my edge guarding to actually work. I was trying to dash, I mean, I was trying to counter the one who was spamming down air. I mean, down smash. I can counter everyone, but I can't counter the one that matters the most. color of what move they spam can kind of be represented by what color the Mega Man is. I can't tell. I was able to kill one, so that's just one less to deal with. Okay, two. This is a really good spot, because they can't tech. And it stage spikes them pretty easily. Don't even need a tipper for that one to kill. Though I think I did get one. All fighters take serious damage. Oh yeah, I remember how this works. This is the heaviest person I have. I guess plant. Lucario will do well in this fight. about Lucario. Okay, there we go. Victory! Told you Lucario would do pretty well. Ooh, we fit trainer. Um... Guess Mario can actually do this one pretty well. Mario. I didn't get the Waluigi Mario, but we should be good with just the regular Mario. If we lose this time, then we'll switch over to the Waluigi Mario. Because he has more power. That went pretty well, though. We fit Trader joins the battle. Definitely an unexpected pick. There seems to be a staircase behind this Psyduck Squirtle Pokemon. So. I guess I gotta go through it. Go! But I say that's gonna be pretty easy to do. Oh, hello, screen flip.
Oh crap, I need source here. I need Venusaur source here. Been playing too much regular Smash. Oh man. I almost died. You just need to get hit by my lightsaber. Ooh, Porygon almost got me there. As soon as the screen flip I knew I was gonna die. It just had to flip at that specific frame. If it would have flipped at any other time, I would have been fine. Although I can't seem to touch the Squirtle. There we go. Mario, you gotta face the right way sometimes. I know it's pretty difficult, but sometimes it just has to happen. I wouldn't mind if Chansey came here and dropped something. There we go. Oh crap, that's Electrode. See how useless Mario's final smash is now. Very. His up smash is pretty useful. It's a water type disadvantage, I think. That was the main problem there. Had a psychic water type as well as a water type in one character. Hmm. I say we try this once and if it doesn't work then I give up. Because the only way I can make this work is if I kill Toon Link very fast and to do that I'm going to be using Wii Fit Trainer. Which is probably a strange pick but it'll make sense because Wii Fit Trainer has a nice down air that's really easy to hit and all I have to do is just land that and we're good. And it goes out pretty fast and it has pretty good distance. It's also a really good spike. Oh crap, he hit the bomb. Hey, I remember how these bombs work from Bomberman R. Oh crap. Bomberman killed himself. Yeah, that just was really unfortunate there. That's a fake smash ball, Toon Link. Don't hit that. He can't hear us. He has AirPods in. Oh, his up smash was called Climb Hazard. That's a very memorable name. Sometimes there's just not much you can do. Because sometimes you get out edge guarded by Bomberman. I mean, I literally had no options of getting back to stage there. Bomberman has best edge guarding in Smash. There we go, Z dropped a bomb on him. Oh crap. Bomberman's actually a pretty easy assist to kill. He doesn't have any self-defense, really. Like, he's got his bombs, but once you hit them, then they're pretty much useless. The bomber hits me. It doesn't hit the young link. I mean, the toon link. My bad. I always get those confused now. I don't know why. There we go.
Here we go, some nice stage control. If, hmm. I am kinda mad. I don't even know what hit me. I was just trying to pick up the bomber so that way it didn't walk off the side and blow me up. But I got hit by something else. I thought I got hit by the bomber. But then I saw the explosion there. And it wasn't even the bomber. Because the bomber was still alive. And of course Bomberman's bomb has range there because it's against the Bomberman that I'm trying to fight. But say, can I not just touch the ground against this bomber man? Okay, let's go. His little bomb that he threw out there didn't go off. Why? Just, just why? Why can't I walk somewhere without being blown up on the ground? All I want to do is just touch the ground for half a second. Is it that difficult to do we fit? I mean, it kind of is against Bomberman, not gonna lie, but when Bomberman is out of the equation, is it really that difficult to touch the ground? Did I really have to be in Shield Sun after Bomberman hit me? Did you really just have to place that there as well? Okay, Bomberman's gone. Okay, let's try not to be hit by Toon Link's explosions now. Can I just not catch a break, really? I have to be hit by the gooey bomb that's right next to the bomb because I was trying to pick up the bomb in the air? Like, are you joking? I literally am at the 60% and I die to a bomb. I don't even understand how I died, honestly. I got hit by no explosions. I had a bomb in my hand and then I just die. I mean, it just makes more sense that way, actually. I don't know. I just made this a lot harder on myself. Oh no. I mean, when you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, there's not much you can do. Okay, let's go. The bomb didn't blow up. Better not hit yourself, Bomberman. I tried to hit Bomberman by holding his body next to the bomb, so I tried to basically hit him with his own bomb, because I know that that instantly kills him as a reference to his game. But, I just can't kill him anymore. I mean, I guess I never technically killed him. His bombs killed him. I literally just want to pick up a bomb game. That's all I want to do. I was about to say, where was I? He got a lucky dodge. Why? Just why? Why did the bomb explode? Because it was in my hand. Like, just why did that happen? It only explodes if you get hit by a fire attack. Was he using a fire attack? No, he was using his chain and his sword. Unless his sword is made out of fire. Because I've never played Wind Waker. I'm sorry that I don't know if Toon Link's sword's made out of fire or not, but I had, if I had a guess, I would say no.
I mean, I would understand more if it was, like, Young Link's arrows. Because that would actually make sense. I actually hit the quit option. I don't know why it's not quitting. Hey, this, is, this spirit is really easy. All I have to do is just not get hit by the bombs, which you think would be easy, but the bombs kill me. Like my own bomb that's in my hand that I'm holding to make sure that the enemy doesn't get the bomb will just randomly go off in my own hand. Or I can't even pick up the bomb because I hit it. Why oh, did he have to tether? I actually just can't. Ah uh, yes, because the Toon Link can move at the speed of light. I thought Sonic was a fast character, then I saw this Toon Link. Who has a fire sword and can move incredibly fast. Like, I don't understand what I... I'm not understanding, I guess. I don't know. I actually just can't catch a break. This entire fight, I just touch the ground and instantly get blown up by his bomb. And then it blows me up. Because his bomb blew up the item that was in front of him. It blows me up. Like, I really don't understand why that happens. Because he should be punished for hitting the bomb. Not me be punished for being near the bomb that he hit. If that makes sense. At this point, I'm not sure if it does. What do you want me to do here, game? Can I not just- can I not hit him while he has the bomb? Or can he just hit me when I have the bomb? Because I'm really am not understanding something here. Say, so now I'm pretty much just dedicated to do this with Wii Fit. I don't really care if I have to spend seven hours doing the same spirit fight over and over again, but I will win this with Wii Fit. I don't care if I can't touch the ground because Bomberman's just placing explosions wherever he feels like it, but... Okay, just stay away from the bombs. Okay, he placed the bomb on me. I just had to do it. There's no other way. Hey, sometimes the best option is to let them kill themselves, you know? Why is he back? I don't understand this fight. He can show up again? After like three seconds of being gone, he's just back? Ready, I tried to punish Toon Link by edge guarding, but instead I'm blown up by Bomberman's bomb again, and then I can't even recover. So done with this fight, it's gonna drive me insane. It's time for Kirby just to absolutely destroy this for no reason. It's just gonna work, I promise. Don't ask me how I know, I just know that this will work.
Okay, never mind. This actually was a terrible plan. Because it's Kirby. Why can't Kirby actually just have like 5% more weight? All he does is eat food and he's like the lightest character in the game. I really don't understand why. How did Bomberman just completely evade all of the bombs? I really just need Link over here. I didn't know you could throw Bomber. I guess if you use the R button. Yep, that's just fun. It's actually just a good time. By the way, this isn't an attack spirit. This is a grabbing spirit. That's why Bomberman's attack does 69% damage to me if I'm stuck in it for half a second. And that's why Bomberman can somehow survive his own bombs. I don't know. It makes as much sense as I'm making. So if I'm making sense, then this is making an equal amount of sense. See, I'm touching the ground with as much sense as I'm making, I guess. That's what I should have said. Ready, go. Okay, the, the final smash ball actually appeared pretty fast. And of course it gets broken all the way on the other side of the stage. Because why wouldn't I be able to use that in attack? What blew up? Please, somebody explain what just blew up that instantly killed me. Because I really don't understand. I just like look down and I'm dead. That's literally this entire fight is I just look up at the screen for one second and then look down at my health to see how much health I have after being exploded and then I get exploded again and die. Please don't. Please don't place me there. There we go. Okay, let's go Bomberman spawn. Kirby just has intangibility, which means that he'll take less damage and he'll have less knockback for moves. But technically intangibility means that he's invincible. But I'm just gonna just say that he has super armor. Let's just say that he has super armor. That wouldn't have killed with super armor. And how did his bomb not blow up whenever I hit it? Like how he could just hit a snipe from all the way across the map and act like nothing happened. Come on, Toon Link, just get over here. I actually don't understand why I cannot just get Toon Link straight over to the edge. All he has to do is just walk right next to me, and then this fight's over. That's all that has to happen. If you can't tell, Bomberman is now my least wanted character for Smash. I think he should remain as an assist trophy. Because it's a pretty good one. Victory! 
I am not proud of that one. Now I can blow up rocks. There's literally no other advantage that I have from doing that. I can just blow up rocks now. So that's cool. Ready? Go! Oh, the squid scissors are here. I could beat an inkling with a damage boost with my Kirby. That's how good my Kirby is. Or the pink demon. The cunning god of death versus the pink demon. That just works. Guess that's a Diddy Kong combo, so that does make sense to me. And since I already have all the spirits, none of these guys are going to be new. In case anyone's wondering why none of these say new. A lot of people actually do spirits um, before they have all the spirits and stuff like that. And after they've played Ultimate for a while, but I already had all the spirits. I already did this mode before. I should have done regen, because regen would have been a lot nicer, but oh well. How many are there for? Yeah, that's not going to be worth it. Cap'n. So this should be pretty easy to do. I should be back now. Oh crap, Cap'n's here. Never mind on the whole this should be easy part. Oh crap. Okay, we're good. Oh no. Okay, we're still good. Get out of here, Cap'n. Cap'n is the most terrifying assist trophy. Now I can already drive the bus that I was already able to drive. Time to get Inkling. Third best character in Ultimate, I think. That's what I rated Inkling at. Ready, go. No, wait, it was fourth. Cause I put Lucina above Inkling, and then Wolf above Lucina, and Peach and Daisy above Wolf. I was trying to parry and I shouldn't have. I like how Kirby just attacks from an upward angle. And literally every other character that uses the sword doesn't do that. Or maybe Jigglypuff, I don't know. But I guess I've never seen Kirby actually do that. Victory! Kirby, destroyer of top tiers. Beat Inkling twice. Now Kirby is the cunning god of death, I guess. Oh yeah, this is that one edgy villain from Sonic Forces. Wasn't saying like infinite? Yeah, it's infinite. Wait. Ready, go! 
I personally preferred literally anything else, but he was a pretty good villain. I didn't think Sonic Forces was that bad of a game, though. I don't get the reference of the whole screen flip, but... Or the metal part. He should have just randomly had a ditto next to him. That would have made more sense. Because he could turn into anyone. Or he could, like, make a clone of himself or something like that. I don't really understand what his power was. And screen still upside down. There we go. Just touch the ground, Sonic. Not you, Kirby. Sonic needs to be the one. Whoa, 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 why is it sliding? It's already bad enough that my left and right controls are reversed. I don't need no sliding. Yeah, I say that we change characters. I think we actually go Inkling. I feel like Inkling's a really good anti-Sonic character. Especially in this matchup where it's a stamina fight. You can just do a bunch of damage from a distance and not really be disturbed. Because Inkling's probably the most zoning character I have other than Pac-Man. It's definitely the best zoning character that I have. If I had Snake, this would be really easy. There we go. What's the Sonic doing? Looks like the ink multiplier doesn't actually exist in spirits mode, though. And also, what happened to my jump there? Like, I made it back, but... I'm really confused. Okay. This is really bad. Not just because I'm at 3%, but mainly because I'm at 3%. That spring could have killed me. Yeah, Inkling was definitely a bad character. Definitely moving down in the tier list. Too high tier. No, I'm just kidding. But really, Inkling couldn't do anything there, and Sonic was easily able to approach Inkling and just get the kill. I think we maybe go Fox if Mars doesn't work. Screen flips are so annoying to deal with. Because it's not after a little while. It's like every three seconds. The screen's flipped upside down. Like, after a little while, you would think it'd be like 10 seconds or something like that. But the screen's probably gonna flip. Yep. Got the prediction. Oh, crap. Oh, Spin Dash actually has priority over F Smash from Mars. I guess it's Sour Spot F Smash, though. Nope. Get into the Blast Zone. Turn Infinite Finite. But yeah, I feel like Ditto would have been a better pick. And then still keep Metal Sonic. Because Infinite like made clones of himself or something like that. Okay, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place here, so I'm just gonna ignore both. And hit the lever. Or I guess button in that case. But yeah, and then we go down Cheek's Path, because I actually went down Villager's Path last time, I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, Pauline's blocking the way. Stage is randomly covered in fog, so... I say we just do Kirby combos, because I can hit Kirby combos pretty well. It's literally just down air into up tilt, and repeat. With the occasional up smash. And then kill with side special. It's not that difficult of a strategy. Ready, 
We're on four side, but I don't think any other found music is playing. Here, watch this damage output. I actually want me to just go back to stage because I am defeated. I'm kind of sad about that one. Thought I was going to be able to do something cool. But Snake moves very slow, so I couldn't. Come on, just stay alive, Kirby. Not asking for much here. I just want to do something cool with the clock. I was just going to do a bunch of down airs, but that kind of worked out. I couldn't see where I was. know a character who's definitely not the pick for this fight, that would be Lucas. Or Ness. Either one. Because they both really suck at foresight. Surprisingly. For it being a mother stage and all. I really hate the little cipher. Because it hits me every time. I'm using the little clock to guide me. That was very frustrating. Because I still haven't been able to do anything cool with the clock. Because every time Snake... Or every time I get the clock, Snake's in the air. And then you couldn't even see it there. And I got slow motion from the clock, so I had to use the final smash there. Now he has final smash? Wait. I actually just can't do anything whenever the fog's on screen. I'm glad Snake can see though. That's really cool and well and good and everything positive that I can think of. Here we go, low percent infinites on four side with Kirby against Snake. Can I not down special? Why did my grenade go through the wall? Where's he going? Watch this night. So he's gonna come over here eventually. And that's when I get him. See? They never expect it. Works every time.
Detective Pikachu. Why is it this music for Detective Pikachu though? You couldn't just use any Pokemon. You had to use the shop. Oh wait, this fight's really annoying because it's Pikachu. And I almost just got supremely edge guarded. This doesn't really bode well. I wanted to fire. There we go. Getting double side beat also is not a good option. You know, I've had better moments. Most of those moments involve me touching the ground, which I seem to not be able to do in spirit mode that much. If I had Lucina, this would be a different story. That's how I feel online whenever I don't use Lucina online and get absolutely destroyed. I mean, why? Why did that actually work? Why is that a better edge guard than Lucina's back air? Or not back air, but her down air. And Mars down air for that matter, because they're the exact same and they're both really bad at edge guarding. Okay, I lost track of which one it is. But I literally am just sick and tired of hearing the word Pikachu at this point. I would honestly prefer this to be a stamina battle, even though I'd be dead at the moment. I know which one it is, I can see him, he's hitting me right now. He's the one that just used Pikachu, yeah, there we go. Or the neutral B, there. Please hit him. Yes, there we go, I hit him. Victory! Finally, I was getting tired of hearing the word Pikachu. And what do we get? Skill points, right? Please? Did I not have Luigi's hat? Or can you get the same item twice? I wonder what's up here. Um, there's some kind of a spirit this way. I mean, not spirit, but fighter this way. I saw a fighter right there. But I didn't open the door, but I hit the button and it opened all the other gates. His char is already can't be that difficult. If I really need to, I can just go back here with Mars, but I'm pretty sure Kirby's got this one. Ready, go. Oh wait, it's Latios and Latios as well, so it's pretty just all you have to do is just continuously down B, and you should be fine. Thought they had uncontrollable speed. Which means they should be able to position themselves. Okay, there's nothing for you to tech on. So yeah, if this time it doesn't work, then I go in as Marth. But yeah, my main problem there was the fact that their down smashes do more damage than... Like snakes, F smash, and snakes, or I mean final smash, and snakes, F, or final smash kills. Oh wait, these don't, guys don't do any damage anymore? Okay, there's just a hole over there? <laughs> sure, why not? It's not like I was depending on landing there after being knocked in the air by Latios and Latios' wind boxes. Oh wait, they do damage. 
They do a lot of damage, actually. I just wasn't being hit by them. Had to get comboed into them by Charizard. You kind of just die after you get hit by them, in fact. I'm literally just out here trying to touch the ground. Luckily, Kirby can use his body as a flotation device. In extreme cases. Most people spam up B, but I spam down B because it's much more effective. Against flying and fly army against fire and um, flying types, it has four times effectiveness because it's a rock type move. Although I seem to not be able to touch the ground long enough. I mean, I know I have to be in the air for it to work. Okay. Let's just keep dash attacking them around. Okay, that was actually a bad idea because you go center stage whenever that happens. And center stage is where all the bad stuff happens in this match. Sure, he is, or his forward air is faster than my down air. Okay, let's go, we got the back shield. We're good. Now here's our plan. I rolled into it, sure. They can stand all the way inside of the blast zone part perfectly fine, but me rolling into it is where the problem occurs. Because they went in there further than I did. Why can Charizard push me when I have my shield up? And I just parried that Flare Blitz so I wouldn't die. And I can't tech that because I'm at too high a percent and has too much knockback. I need this Fire Flower though. Here we go. Oh crap, I dropped it. Because why not drop it, Kirby? It's not like it's the most important thing you needed at the time. That was a perfect trap. Because Kirby, for some reason, just decided to shrink. I'm glad that that had no knockback or damage output. So exciting. Also, I like how the blue one spot dodged and he was the one that got hit, and the red one that didn't do anything was the one that didn't get hit. I like how his movement there. Now, what was that? I actually just couldn't touch the ground because of Latios and Latias, and then I just died. 10 out of 10 fight would watch again. How did I get there? Now I'm the one with un uncontrollable speed. And also can't talk. How is this plan not working? How can he do double jumps in the air? What? He's using the fire flower and he can double jump? I just can't. Please don't die, Kirby. Kirby's the worst character in Smash Ultimate confirmed. Kirby gets its own tier that's underneath Little Mac's own tier. Like, that's how bad Kirby is in Ultimate. Because you can't even beat the worst Pokemon in the game. Charizard's best move is down special. Okay, Latios and Latias, that's cool. I didn't want to play a video game.
I'd rather just watch. Why does only one of them show up if they're both there? Can they both come out of the Pokeball? Or did I miss that scene in the game where they just like duplicated themselves? He waited. Yeah, I'm done. Mars coming. There's only one man that can do this, and it's Marth with Cranky Kong, but I can't get Cranky Kong because I'm doing the spirit list, so I just gotta use Marth. I mean, Fox? No, Fox is too light. Fox will just die instantly. Like, it's really bad, so. Hey, this is just the last spirit that I wanted to do it anyway, so I could see who this character was on the other side of the bridge if possible to see from this distance. I just don't like playing video games, honestly. <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just, I can't touch the ground, I can't parry, I can't counter, I can't do any damage because I'm being thrown around the map. Literally being held till I get Flare Blitz by one Charizard. They both move at the speed of sound. I get double smash attacked in a row, and all I can do is just sit there and take it. Because I don't have any good characters, I just have like Marth and Inkling. Those are my only two good characters. I guess Mega Man, but he wouldn't be much help here. Unless he's heavy. I don't have any heavy characters, I think it's my main problem, actually. Like, if I had King K. ruled, this would be a very easy fight. Me getting punished for Tekken. So I just... Hold on a sec. Sorry, I'm back. I just need to stay in this corner and I stay aligned. Okay. You see, I'm out of the corner now and I can die. They know about the corner. That's why they're staying in it. Oh crap, he's got a sword. I mean, I have a sword too, but it's not that long. I was in hit stun. Or shield stun, I mean. I just can't touch the ground. I literally just can't even do anything. I just get thrown around the map. Not even any good characters. Like, Lucina wouldn't be able to do this fight. Pokemon Trainer itself wouldn't be able to do this fight. It has more Pokemon than Charizard. I needed to catch that. We're restarting. I just have to catch the Pokeball and throw it on the ground. Because I take too much damage at the beginning of this fight. So if he throws it at me again, I have to catch it. And then I have to get center stage, or else I kind of just die. Oh, I like how their flare blitz, like me pairing their flare blitz, or blocking it, I mean. It did 3% damage to the red one, and 6%, or I mean 9% damage to the blue one. Just hit me through my shield, why don't you? It's just a back shield. It's an item that makes it where you're invulnerable to damage on the side that you're facing away from. Just hit me straight through it, please. It's not like this boss fight's already annoying, or a spirit battle, whatever you want to call it. It's like it's already pretty annoying because I can't even touch the ground due to Latios and Latias. And I take 500 damage just for getting hit by a smash attack because I can't even touch the ground to block it. 
That's fun. It's not annoying at all. I'd rather go back to fighting the sheriff. If I bring in Fox, Fox just instantly dies at like 20%. Because he's lightweight. Okay, we survived phase one. Now we're in phase two. Phase two is much harder than phase one, I'm not gonna lie. I've never made it past phase two before, so that's why it's more difficult. And in case you're wondering, I do have to beat the spirit to advance the game. Yet I'm getting Diddy comboed by Charizard, so I mean, is it possible? Probably not. cross-stage banana diddy combo surprised they aren't doing the infinite and just teabagging the entire time I don't know how that hit him through the stage and I think it was kind of crap Don't know why his neutral air can hit me pretty much anywhere on the entire stage, no matter where he starts it. And why no one's not complaining about it, because it's worse than Ike's. It literally combos into itself forever. From across the stage. Can we talk about how bad that critical hit was? The critical hit did less than a Kipper F or a forward smash. I mean, I don't actually think this fight's possible. I mean, there is no guide for every spirit battle spiritless, because nobody's actually been able to 100% the game spiritless. There's probably a reason. I actually just have no idea of how to beat this spirit. It, literally everyone in my party is lightweight. Light to midweight. I guess we get Lucario and he just dies at 188% because he's lightweight. Maybe I use Jigglypuff so as soon as my shield breaks I instantly die and don't have to go through the entire thing. I mean, he does have a counter, so that's good, but it doesn't really become useful until later. And they literally just wait until I get done spamming it and just avoid it. I'm glad that counter has more delay than any- than, like, dropping shield after being hit by a flare blitz and not parrying it. Yeah, that was a bad decision. I don't know why that one came out delayed. I mean, I'll fight you guys over here. I really have nothing else to lose. Of course he gets the Fire Flower before we actually go over there. Because why wouldn't you just go pick up the Fire Flower? It just makes it where any move that I can do is completely useless. Because I have too much in lag from the hit stun of the Fire Flower. Ready? I mean, startup lag. Go! It all makes sense.
Literally, my entire party is low tier. Because we keep losing to low tier characters. Just don't, don't counter any moves, Lucario. Just be hit by literally every single one, please. Just continue to die and frustrate me because it's more fun that way. I touch the ground for one second and then I'm just picked up and thrown. Like, there's actually no solution that I can come up with to beat Charizard. Literally the worst Pokemon in the game due to his giant hitbox and massive size and slow attacks. I can't seem to get away from him. So I can hit one at a time. If I can kill one of them, then I can kill the other one very easily. Victory! I just had to turn off my brain there and then it worked. Zero IQ plays for the win. Let's get this crushy Sean, I guess, I don't know. Oh, I just got the pun. Yep, for that pun, you're just gonna get Kirby Inkling, I'm sorry. But actually not sorry at the same time. There's just one Inkling, right? Yeah, okay. Because they become um, more powerful after eating, so... And in case you're wondering what more powerful means, it means significantly more powerful. Like, one hit does like 30 damage. Like a jab hit, I mean. Ooh, a donut. That was a Pokemon reference, because we're on the Pokemon stage. I really just need to actually hit the Inkling, so if you would please just be hit. Instead of just running away to the other side of the map like an Inkling player. I like how that one was just a grenade. Literally all the rest of them are drop food, but that one that I hit is a grenade. Please, just die. Nope. Of course they get final smash. Luckily their final smash really sucks. On Pokemon Stadium, I mean, um, whatever this place is called, Silpco, it's just awful. I can just circle camp for Final Smash and beat them. I guess that's what I have to do. Come on, DI out. There we go. We're good. We're staying alive, basically. Let's see how long this fight can last. <sighs> really, just all that work and just to up air? Okay. Like, five minutes of fighting just to be up air. 
because Kirby is slower than every other character in the game in the air, other than Incineroar. About to say new flare? What? I was just trying to hit all the food so that way I wouldn't die. I was about to say now I'm gonna die, but I somehow didn't die. But yeah, I just want to see who this character is, is all I've been trying to figure out. Somebody like right there. I guess I gotta get on the other side of this guy as well. If it's too many spirits, like if it's just like another spirit after this one, this is the last one I'm fighting, basically. There's nothing you can do here. He just doesn't have any range. Fox reflector in the air. Down special. Looks like I have to go this way, maybe? And then down here. Oh, Tingle's guarding it. I get to see how the Tingle fight's actually gonna play out. And try it at least once. Just defeat the main fighter to win. It's just a blue villager. Oh, this is actually really easy. It just sounds difficult. An enemy loves to taunt, they move faster and can't stop quickly after a while. And defeat all the main fighters, or defeat the main fighter to win. The main fighter shoots this one. Oh wait, he's being guarded. Okay, never mind. That's the whole easy part. It's just young ones though. You could always just do- Oh man, you can't go underneath the turtle anymore? I mean, you can go underneath a turtle like that. Why does the actual one that I have to kill have super armor and all the rest of them don't? So, basically, if you're wondering what happened, I teleported inside of the link up smash like that's why like I basically just teleported directly into the fine art to the up smash had no control over where I was going and you can't air dodge inside the turtle anymore and then you just can't people out
Although that villager got stuck inside the turtle somehow. I'm glad that I got footstool there. The young link is the annoying part actually of this fight. And I thought it wouldn't be the young link, I thought it would be the villagers. Oh, it looks like the teammates can damage themselves. So that does make things a bit easier. Yeah, I don't want Kirby to be faster. Turns out. Like, I would think that I would want Kirby to be faster, but really... Kirby's speed is good as it was. Because this is really bad. Are you joking? He just went all the way, like, directly right next to the blast zone? To avoid that? And somehow manage to do it? I... I... Mm, sure. I'm kinda done with spirits. Cause I hit the B button as soon as I touched the water and I was unable to escape. At least I'm in slow motion now so we're good. For now. There we go. I thought the tingle one liked to taunt. There we go. There we go. I don't have to fight Youngling, I just have to fight the villager. So I really don't care about the Youngling that much. He's just really annoying. Okay, now this is an easy fight. Or at least it should be. Detect that. And he barely missed that. He didn't take that one, but he was like right at the blast zone. There we go. Should be an easy kill, right? Yep. Now let's see what the spirit after tingle is going to be. Oh wait, I can just go here. Oh, it's Dr. Mario. 
say I've just been trying to reach this fighter for the entire time. In the fighting the Latios and Latias, I was just trying to reach this fighter. And it was worth it. Don't know why there's not a Dr. Mario stage. There's an original Mario Brothers stage in the arcade game, but there's not a Dr. Mario one. And Dr. Mario is a fighter. He's like the only fighter that doesn't have his own stage represented. That just worked. Or I guess the stage from his own game represents what I meant. Even Duck Hunt has his own stage. And Dr. Mario has been in the game since Melee. Or been in Smash Brothers since Melee. But yeah, this is all that I have time to stream for tonight. I should be live tomorrow though with some more spirits and stuff like that. I'll probably just play regular Smash. But yeah, this is all I'm going to do for spirits today. Done like four hours of spirits or something like that. I've played a lot of spirits and stuff like that today so I guess just Smash in general I should have reached like 425 hours yeah on Friday I was at 420 so yeah I'm just gonna be playing Smash offline some after I do what I have to do which is why I have to end the stream here but once I get back I'm just going to be playing Smash offline so that's why I'm gonna be starting this and I guess I hope to see everyone in the next stream